There is a, a Canadian professor who is under fire right now for encouraging young girls to prostitute themselves when they are young as they are beginning to start their careers. Naomi Sayers, who's an adjunct professor at the University of Ottawa, tweeted out, quote, unpopular opinion. The best thing young people can do early in their careers is do hashtag sex work on the side because your early career prospects will be unstable, unpredictable, low pay, likely contract work, and very much exploitative. Now, a spokesperson for this, a spokesman for, for this woman is saying she was being ironic. She was making a criticism of capitalism. So she's saying, don't, don't believe that this woman's actually encouraging her students to prostitute themselves. But then later on, the same spokesman said that this is just part of her point on the shaming, on slut shaming and sex work. So then it seems like she is defending prostitution and the kids to go into it. So this woman's obviously very confused. She does make a criticism of capitalism. She says, that's how capitalism works. People out here saying young people can be exploited in sex work. Literally, that's capitalism, lol. And quite literally, that's any kind of work, any kind of work. Abolish capitalism, abolish, actually abolish prison, but whatever. So this woman obviously has a couple screws loose. She is a communist. She is an insane communist, but I repeat myself. But I actually want to take her point seriously because I think she unwittingly is revealing something about the modern left and frankly, the modern right. She shares some critiques of modern society with conservatives. She is saying that some aspects of the current economic system are exploitative and that in some ways, by making an idol of mammon, making an idol of, of GDP, making an idol of these things, we are neglecting other important aspects of our society and our humanity. In the name of boosting GDP a little in the United States, we ship our manufacturing jobs overseas. We destroy communities in the United States. We sell out the American worker. That's just a fact. Is that because of capitalism? Is that because of our corporatist regime? Is it because, I don't know why you use whatever term you want. Capitalism itself is a word popularized by Karl Marx. But that, that criticism of our current economic system is one that I bet this woman would share, this crazy communist. And I bet traditional conservatives who care about the American worker would, would share, right? That is an error. That is a problem. But what this woman is suggesting, what she gets so wrong is she's taking this materialist view of humanity whereby we are our bodies. We have no dignity. We have no soul. We are just meat. And so for her, if you're using your body to make widgets at the factory, or you're using your body to be degraded by men on camera or in a bordello or something, then it's the same thing. But they're not the same thing. When you use your body and your mind to create something, you are maintaining your dignity. When you degrade yourself and you turn yourself into an object, a, 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 a mere plaything for someone else's pleasure, you are undermining your dignity. Cons- actually, consider sex itself. Th- I think this is why they go so crazy with the sex work. A wife and a prostitute engage in the same act, right? (laughs) I think it's the same thing. Why do we think one of them is good and one of them is bad? Well, what this woman would probably tell you, what the left would tell you is because of the patriarchy, it's deluded us and it's given us crazy conceptions and actually it's the same thing and it's an exploitation of men or whatever. Okay. The reason we think that is because one of them is happening out of love in a stable, loving place that gives dignity to the woman. And the other is exploitative. It's really two people exploiting one another. It's the man exploiting the prostitute's desperation and the prostitute exploiting the man's desperation for sex. The, The man exploiting the prostitute's need for money and greed for money and the prostitute exploiting the man's addiction to sexual pleasure and his need for instant gratification and his, his degraded view of the world. That is a mutual exploitation. A husband and a wife in a loving marriage will the good of the other person. 
They are building something. They're, it's not a zero-sum game where they're just like, I'm going to take this from you and you're going to take this from me. You're, a, you're actually procreating in that situation. You are creating a child. So they're, they're physically, they look like the same act, but they're totally different acts. What this woman, I suspect, is saying is actually there's a really conservative argument here. What she's saying is when women are younger, let's say a woman in her early 20s should engage in sex work. She's saying that because women who are younger are more physically attractive, they should take advantage of that, turn it to their advantage and make some money out of it. I bet what the conservative would say is actually when a woman is younger, what she should do is get married. She is more physically attractive. She's uh, got more energy, more energy to raise kids, whatever. And so yes, they're observing the same physical facts, but coming to totally different political ends. And this woman, unfortunately, she's gone totally, totally wrong in her view of things. But we can actually learn from the left sometimes. We can learn from their weird perceptions of the world. That is actually one of the main points of my upcoming book, Speeches, Controlling Words, Controlling Minds. I want to take the left seriously on these things. I want to take their thinkers seriously. You know, so much of this craziness on race and sex and, and gender, quote unquote, comes down to a misunderstanding of really basic philosophical questions. This is why this, this racial narrative has become a kind of national religion. It's got religious ceremonies. It's why Juneteenth is now a national sacred feast, a religious holiday. It's why Pride Month is on the liturgical calendar. It's because we don't understand the religious underpinnings of society. Hey, I'm so glad that you liked that video. There's a whole show. There's an entire episode out there that you can get. What's the title? Knives at a Gunfight. Head on over. You can check it out on YouTube, on the Apple Podcasts app, on Spotify, on Stitcher, on Google Play. And you can pre-order my book, Speechless, Controlling Words, Controlling Minds. Ring the bell. Subscribe. We'll see you next time.